there. All right, so in this video, I want to show you step by step how to create an opt in for your blog post, how to get that onto your website, and then feature it a little bit so that you entice your readers to sign up to it, and then have this little box where they can actually sign up, receive the PDF or the opt in that you created, and then that email gets added to your um, email list. So there's a couple steps involved in this. It's not extremely difficult, um, but you can do it. And this is how I build my email list by adding specific opt-ins to my, my best performing posts. So here you can see another one. You, I show the example of what they're getting and I mean, it looks like a lot like, oh my goodness, I get all that information for free and they just give me their email address in exchange for this valuable content. So um, the programs that I use, you can use different programs, that's fine. But what I use to create my opt-ins are Word and PowerPoint. You can create, you can use Canva and PicMonkey as well to create awesome opt-ins. I'm just um, a pretty traditional old school girl, so I like my Windows products. <laughs> but you can do this as well in Canva and PicMonkey. All right, so first off, let's let's start from the beginning. This is where we want to end up, but let's start from the very, very beginning. You go into your um, WordPress account. So let's go ahead and log in. All right, fantastic. And then let's go to posts and say add new posts. So this is going to be our new post on some hot topic, or you might already have a post that you um, that you want to create an opt-in for. So I'll just start here from the basics so that you know exactly how to do this. Okay, um, let's say top five ways to be a better mom. Okay, there you go. So then you'll write your post here. Um, one thing that a lot of beginning bloggers struggle with is finding all the toggles here. So toggle on this toolbar toggle to see more of the um, options there okay so that little button right there okay so you'll start with first tip second tip third oops and you'll go in and write an awesome post on five ways to be a better mom um and then of course like start with a good introduction kind of grab your reader in start with a good emotion get them on board with your post use the right headings and and formatting and so on but that's not that's not for this video for this video we're going to find out how to do an opt-in right okay all right so you're going to write a great intro great emotional intro grab your reader okay and then you'll do your first step and you'll probably have this in heading three or two and then this is best way to be a better mom Oops. hug your kids every day I hope you do that I'm sure I'm sure you hug your kids every day all right tip two feed your family a healthy meal once a month <laughs> once a day and then your third tip is don't be so serious or stressed. All right. Okay. Third tip. Heading two. Okay. Ooh. And what we can do for our um, our opt-in is download the the other. What is it? We have to have a big number, an odd number. So seventeen, twenty-seven, forty-three, fifty-three, <laughs> forty-three other amazing ways to be a better mom in five minutes or less we all love quick solutions right okay oopsie don't be there okay be a better mom whoops one more extra space okay so that's going to be our opt-in 43 other amazing ways to be a better mom in five minutes or less so i'll show you kind of what i do with my opt-ins here's powerpoint so some of you might be familiar with PowerPoint, probably not everybody. Um, you can do this in Canva as well. They have templates for infographics 
that you can use to create opt-ins. Um, this is one of the opt-ins that I have on my nine steps for growing a healthy blog, which you could do, and you can see it's easy to edit. All this is smart art. So if you're not familiar with smart art, I never used to use it in um, when I was corporate because it's it looks too pretty, but now it's it's perfect to use it for blogging, right? We love things that look pretty, that are uniform with pretty colors. So this was way too much for corporate life, but in the blogging life, I can go all out with my smart art. Okay, so let's say new. Okay, so normally I, um, I'm getting way into weeds in this thing. Okay, do my page setup. I do it as an A4. I do, nope, 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 no portrait, portrait. Okay. Okay, so let's go. 43 amazing ways to be a better mom in five minutes or less. In five minutes or less. Oopsie. Okay, so I move this to the top. A little opt in, and I'm going really detailed in here. Hope you like this. Okay, insert my smart art. Seeing all these cool little ways that I can do it. Okay, um, let's start with that one and see how it works. Tip one hug your kids. Oopsie, wow. Tip two cook a healthy meal. Yeah, this is basic. Tip three, don't be so serious. Okay, we can go on to four. I wish I had an audience here so people can just shout out tips. Tip four, um, don't let the laundry get you down. Tip five. Okay, well, tip five. Um, play on the floor with your toddler. Okay, you, you get the idea, right? Okay, so you can go ahead and do the 43. It'll probably take you a little longer than five minutes. And then in PowerPoint Smart Art, you can test all kinds of different layouts without even, like, you just hover over them and it shows you, oh, look at that, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. There you can add images to each tip. Um, all kinds of different ways of showing this list form. And then you can even go, oh, that one's nice. Oh, I like that one. You go into more layouts so you can see something completely different, like um, like relationship diagrams, like circles. Let's try circles. See, circles can work. That's pretty cool, too. I'm going to do a Venn diagram, a pie chart. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Now I'm getting lost in... Um, in smart art okay come on pick one Susie pick one just just pick any one stop it which one did I like was it this one yeah this one okay all right and then you can change colors too what's cool in um, Microsoft is or in, in in PowerPoint is that you can go into design and I already have my blog numbers and my blog colors saved so I um I set up I created a new theme colors which have all my blog colors here so I just select that go back into design and I can choose any of these colors and they all line up with my blog kind of feeling okay so let's take this one that was kind of nice let's see if I can touch a specific one all right okay so obviously 43 is not going to fit into my pie chart but this can be my current opt-in. So um, opt-ins need to be quick tips, um, easy to implement for your reader. It solves a problem. So say for example, you're, you have a blog about how to be, how to make moms better moms, right? How to have a less stressful motherhood, because I would love that. Um, so 43 amazing tips and ways to be a better mom in five minutes or less. Obviously, it's a busy mom. She wants to be better. You're giving her quick solutions to issues that she has. All right. So just imagine there's 43 tips on here. So what you do then after you create your opt-in, and this is also a cool tip that I know 
with PowerPoint is you can go here and you can say all uppercase. Isn't that cool? I used to retype everything. Okay. And then we can make this all uppercase too. All right. Okay, so you can play around, have different colors, different fonts and so on. We'll just keep that for now. Let's just make sure that you remember to put your blog at the bottom, right? We want people to remember where they got this amazing opt-in from and they can come back to visit you. Okay. So I will save this. First I'll save it as a PowerPoint file. Um, and then I'm going to save it as a PDF. So use the drop down, save it as a PDF, and save. All right. Then additionally what I do is um, to create these little, oh, where, where you go? Here you go. To create these little images that goes on top of the sign up form in your blog post, I'll show you what I do. But this kind of entices the, the reader to sign up for it, right? I want to give them a little preview so they know what they're getting. So what I do here then is I copy everything, I paste it, and um, I could save it as a picture. Yeah, I do. I do save it. I save it as a picture. Um, 43 ways. Okay, and then... I insert that picture I just saved. Let's see. So here you go. Now that's an image. Oopsie. Oh, hit there. Okay, now I can delete all that. This is now my image. Now I go into format and I make it look like a little paper, right? Okay. turn it a little bit insert um, shapes I'll have to create a tutorial on how you do this in Canva as well for example if you don't have PowerPoint but if you do this can work for you and then insert a little bit of text download here or below. Okay. Okay, so this will all be my little preview on top of my, um, in my blog post. So I'll copy all that, right click, save as picture, preview of 43 ways. Man, this is detailed. Okay. So now we have our opt-in that was saved as a PDF and we have our little preview, right? And you can actually add this to a pinnable image as well so that you show on the pinnable image, hey, here's a tiny little preview. You get a free download. That can also be very helpful for your reader and to entice them to click through and come and download it.